Christopher wanting to puff himself up. Yeah, and that's all in Isaiah and Ezekiel, and that's where those passages come from. So, and we say, you know, that that Lucifer was this fallen angel. Actually, uh, one of the things I wanted to do in this book was to debunk a few myths, and one of the myths is that Lucifer was an angel. He was actually a cherub, which is a little different. A cherub. It's a little different, yeah. yeah. I thought he was one of the, now, does it say he was a cherub? Yeah. Well, if you, if you consider that passage in Ezekiel, t or in, in, in Isaiah, to be talking about Lucifer, it says, you were an anointed cherub. cherub. Yeah, it does. Yeah. And cherubs are quite a lot higher in the rank of spiritual beings than angels, even higher than the archangels. So. And he was the cherub that did the music in heaven, was he not? Yeah. He played these uh, these instruments that we don't know what they are called tabarets, um, and he walked in the the rock garden, and he was the governor of the Mount of Elohim. So, the Mount of yeah. Elohim, if you know who that is, that's the Mount, Mount of, of God. Of God. Yeah. And so he puffed himself up with pride. Mm -hmm. And you, you just don't think of a little cherub. We think of little cherubs floating around in the... <laughs> oh, yes, but it's not the diaper babies. No, no, cherubs are, those are some really frightening creatures. And probably, I have a friend who describes Lucifer as drop-dead gorgeous. And that was another myth that I wanted to debunk because we think of Satan or Lucifer as having red skin and horns and the pitchfork and, you know, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but in fact, the Bible says Satan can can masquerade as an angel of light and uh, that he, I would think he's probably very beautiful. You know, when my husband and I walked across around America, at one point there was a man in a shiny red truck, very handsome man in the truck, mm -hmm. and he came and he stopped us and he said, what are you two doing out here, unmarried, on this road, talking about Jesus? Mm -hmm. And Russell said, don't go near him. Mm -hmm. And I didn't, because normally I would have gone right over to that truck and just taken him on. And yeah. Russell said, don't go near him. Mm -hmm. And I remember he was just so handsome. Mm -hmm. And yet he was in this, not that they don't have trucks, handsome mm -hmm. men don't have trucks. but. Um, after we got done talking to him and he was throwing darts, yeah. then Russell said something to me and I looked back and the whole truck was gone. Wow. He was gone. The wow. truck was gone. And That's I really scary. believe we had an encounter with Satan himself wow. trying to get us off the road. Mm -hmm. by throwing his darts, mm -hmm. because that's what he'll do in your life every time. Mm -hmm. Well, we're gonna, we have a lot to talk about. Demon is the name of the book, mm -hmm. and uh, this is one of a series. We're going to talk more about that when we come back. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Author Tosca Lee has woven a compelling novel from the heights of heaven to the depths of damnation. Witness the creation of the world to the birth, death, and resurrection of Christ like you've never heard it before. From the mouth of a fallen angel, Demon, a memoir, tells the story of Lucian, an angel of the Most High, turned demon doomed from hell as he recounts the stories we all know. From a perspective we couldn't imagine, this extraordinary novel will shed new insight into God's love for mankind and give you a new appreciation for the salvation available to us through Christ Jesus. Demon, a memoir, is available for $14.99 by calling 888-725-8033 or go to buythebook.tv and request offer number 228. That's 888-725-8033 or log on to buythebook.tv and request offer number 228. Buy the book today. If you would like to receive your copy of today's edition of Buy the Book, please be sure to call 888-725-8033 and ask for today's offer number on the screen. DVDs are $14.95 plus shipping and handling and come with four total episodes per DVD. Order your DVD of Buy the Book today and call 888-725-8033. Welcome back. We've been talking with Tosca Lee. She's written a book called Demon and maybe not letting you know exactly, I mean, breaking some of the myths you had of demons mm -hmm. and yeah. spiritual things. We think of little ugly things. And we think of ugly comic book characters. Uh -huh. And we also think of Satan as the arch nemesis or the evil opposite of God. Uh -huh. But you know, 
no created being can be the equal of the creator. No. He's not the equal opposite of God. That's so another myth. Yeah. They had so they had um, yeah, and there are some churches that think he was his brother, which are completely Oh, wow, that's wrong. new. <laughs> uh, well, I'll tell you off the air. <laughs> but they have, they've had a battle in heaven. All of a sudden, he prides up, and he takes mm -hmm. a third of the angels, mm -hmm. and there happens to be a court in heaven that mm -hmm. does what to him? That, that banishes him. Yeah. And he, he hits the earth. And one of the things it says, I saw him falling as a bolt of lightning. Yeah. You know, a lot of people wear a lightning bolt. Mm. And I said, you know what that represents? Mm. We don't think about that, do huh, we? No, we don't. But it says, I saw him falling as a mm. bolt of lightning. Mm. And um, he was called the morning star. The morning star. Yeah. I wonder why. The morning star. I think, be just based on what I've read in the scriptures, I think it was because he was the most powerful and probably the most beautiful um, creature under God. Wow. Because he was the governor of the Mount of God. Uh-huh. And he walked among the fiery stones, it says. So this is a powerful being, but no, not the equal of God. No, because yeah. God's the creator. God's the creator. It's not possible. Yeah. Uh-uh. And how that must have saddened God. To have this that he so. created with the bellows and that the music were in him. I would think so, yeah. And yet, to have to banish him forever. I would think so, yeah. And then to hell. I would think so. So, the, so in your story, mm -hmm. he comes, the demon. The demon shows up. It says, I followed the wrong guy with the wrong choice. I made the wrong choice yeah. and followed him. Mm -hmm. Then what? Well, he, he tells the whole story, and Clay... Give me some of the story. Some of the story. <laughs> I just a little of the story. I'm trying, guys. Well, he talks about how, you know, looking at who Lucifer was and how perfect he was under God, it made sense at the time. And how many of us do things that make sense at the time? Because it seems like the right thing to do. And yet we can get forgiveness for those things. And yet he made that mistake. And there was no sin at the time. They didn't know that they were creating this sinful, you know, aberration and perfection. Um, and so this is the first time they've, they've seen active disobedience, right? Um, but they know something is very wrong after that. After they've been cast out, they know something is very wrong. And then he talks about watching God create this earth and create these humans that God then blessed, that God blessed and said, create, a, uh, create after your own kind. And he talks about how strange and freakish this was to him to see these humans that ate things, that procreated, and that were blessed by God, and that were given this inspired breath of God into this body of mud. Can you imagine? Inspired breath into a body of mud so he talks about that, and he, he talks about it from his own point of view, of course, which is, you know, he finds this to be incredibly offensive and heinous. Um, but Clay, the main character, actually says, you know, I feel a little bit bad for you, and the demon says, don't feel sympathy for me. I made my choice. And that's very important. Mm -hmm. Don't feel sympathy for me. So. And that's like with us. We make our choices every day, either mm -hmm. to accept him mm -hmm. or to reject him. Mm -hmm. And then one day we'll be right where that demon was. Mm -hmm. It's really a great path to God mm -hmm. in this book. This, the whole gospel is in this book. Um, the whole laying out of where we came from, why we needed this, this provision, um, and then what do we do with it is all in this book. So it's all in there. And I should say, it looks scary, but it's not. I don't write horror. And it's, it's got some suspense, but it's not a frightening book. And it's not about demons, and it's not about vampires. No. It's, it's really the story of grace. But it's a wonderful book to get into the hand of a person who might be into vampires. Could be, yeah. Or, or just a, someone who doesn't know who God is. Right. A lot of people buy it for that reason and give it to friends. I know that there are many people who are into Satan worship. Mm -hmm. 